Hey guys, before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to give a quick announcement. If you click the link in the description below, it's gonna take you to myfightgym.com for a live virtual sparring MMA session. It's free for everyone, no experience is required, no partner or equipment is required either. Just gonna learn a couple different strategies, combos, and setups for mixed martial arts and get a good workout in. Plus there's a chat room on the side and there's gonna be people from all over the world so you can hang out and spread some knowledge. And the class starts in five minutes, so by the time you're done watching this video, click that link in the description below and it'll take you to the class. We're doing this to celebrate Unity Day for Pacers Bullying Prevention Month. We'll see you there. What's going on guys, Shane here. So today I wanna to talk about hate comments, trolling, and just general negativity that I'm seeing lately online and in person too. Yesterday was an especially bad day for fight tips. Just way too much harmful, racist, disrespectful language being thrown around and I want to address it. For you, if you're a victim or if you're contributing to it, you need to stop because it's really poisonous, not only for other people, but for yourself too. So it usually comes down to three factors, three fueling factors to why people spread hate. It's either going to be for the shock factor, it's going to be jealousy, or it's going to be ignorance. I'm going to give you examples of each of so the shock value, the shock factor. A lot of you know my friend Sam, I featured her in Fight Tips videos, she's in a wheelchair. She was in a really bad car accident that left her paralyzed from the waist down. There's no feeling in her legs. But she's been on a journey to be able to maybe someday walk again or assisted walk or just get in better shape and feel better about herself. So she uploads it to YouTube and she just got her first troll, someone who has been commenting saying, you're glorifying yourself and your disability. You're putting yourself up on a pedestal and you're using your, your paralysis as, as a means to do that. That's, that's terrible, you're a bad person. And the first thing I said to her when, when she shared this was, you know, that's a sign of success. You're never gonna be universally liked and that's not only okay, that's a good thing. But she shared this on Instagram, a screenshot of it, and all of her friends were like, Sam, you know, this is making me so angry, my blood is boiling, I, I can't believe someone would say something like that. But to me, it's very, very transparent, right? Who, who, make, who the hell makes fun of a disabled person? So this guy obviously is just trying to shock people and get a reaction out of you. Don't give it to them. That's what they want. Don't give them the satisfaction. The next one is jealousy. And the example I'm going to use is myself because it was, most, it was as recent as probably three years ago. I, I was a jealous person. I would see someone who was a better fighter or had a, more subscribers on their YouTube channel. And I would say, man, I am better than that person. I should be there. I should have that many subscribers. I should own that gym or whatever it may be. And then I, I sat myself down and I'm like, Shane, do you really deserve to be there? Think about it. No, you don't work as hard as that guy. The reason why he has so many subscribers is because he stays up late and he wakes up early and he, he gives up his sleep so that he can grind, so that he can hustle, so that he can film. He's uploading more videos than you. You don't deserve to be there. And it's the truth. Really consider that. Before you get angry at someone, do you really deserve to be there? Next time you're going through Instagram, try to like every single picture that you follow. Try to like every single one. Try to comment something positive about it. It's so easy to look at the negative and to bitch and, and complain about things. Try to see the good in things. It's harder, but it's more healthy for you. All right, so shock value, jealousy, and then ignorance is an obvious one. This is across the world. You can use any example. If people don't know, and ignorance doesn't mean arrogant. A lot of people, you know, interchange those words. Ignorance is lack of knowledge, is, is lack of experience, not knowing the topic at hand. All right, so if, if someone is angry at you, they may not understand. Someone may be correcting you and not even realize that there's an alternative way of doing it. Okay, so the next time that you're a victim to this, consider it. Are they just trying to just trying to upset me? Just trying to get a rise out of me? Are they jealous? Do they want to be me? Or ignorance? Or do they not know better? And then you really, can you, can you be upset at someone for not knowing better? All right, guys, let's unite together for Unity Day for Pacers Bullying Prevention Month. Links in the description below. We're going to get a good MMA workout in. It's starting right now. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and click over there and we'll hang out and get a good session in. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs.